Welcome to Montelac. Uh, if you need to rent, uh, start down at guest services, purchase your lift tickets and uh, rental, and then come on down here to the rental shop. Stop here at the forms counter. You're gonna need a white form uh, that has contact information and information about yourself. You need one for each person. And then you need a waiver for whatever you're renting. The blue ones are for snowboarding. The green ones are for skiing. If you are renting a helmet for an additional charge, uh, those are the purple form. To put on your lift ticket, uh, choose a zipper, preferably not the one that zips up your coat so that the lift ticket doesn't flap in your face. And hook the wicket through so that it hangs down. Fold your lift ticket in half across the dotted line. Peel the back off and place the wire in the center and fold. Make sure your lift ticket is visible and is on uh, something you're going to wear all day. Once you get your ski boot, uh, you want to unbuckle it all the way by pulling up on, on the buckle and pulling it off the teeth and then pushing in on the gray button and pulling out the strap. You can pull the tongue all the way forward. On the Dalbello boots, we have a ski walk lever that makes it easier to get the boot on. Once you have your boot all opened up, point your toe, stick your foot in. Uh, you may have to wiggle and push to get your foot all the way into the bottom. Now you're going to make sure your sock is pulled all the way up. You do not have any pants tucked into your boot. Uh, make sure the tongue is behind all the outer pieces and that this gray part is behind uh, the buckles. Start at the top and buckle the boot until it's snug. Stand up. Flex your ankle and your knee a couple of times. This will put your heel into the heel pocket. And now you can buckle the bottom. Your toe should touch the end of the boot and feel snug all the way around with just enough room to wiggle your toes. Okay, we have four different styles of lacing for snowboard boots. We have your typical uh, lace up style like your shoe. Uh, we have the boa system where you pull out the button to pull the tongue forward and then you push in the button and twist to tighten it up. We have speed laces which have two different zones. You pull the cords forward out of the teeth on the side and uh, then you pull on the blue cord to pull everything forward and loosen it up to tighten you're going to pull everything back in pull up on the cords until they're snug and pull backwards until they lock in the teeth then you can wind up the end and put it in the pocket and the last style is a velcro easy for kids to do you're going to loosen up the Velcro, pull the tongue forward, put your foot in, line up the tongue, and tighten up the Velcro. Okay, so we rent helmets here at Montelac Resort. You can rent them from guest services for $7.99. Uh, once you have your forms all filled out and are ready to get fitted, uh, you come down to the rental shop here, and you're going to try on the helmet. Okay, it should sit level on your head. There's a dial in the back that's gonna make it snug so that when you shake your head up and down and side to side, it doesn't move. Okay, once we've checked that out, it should be level just above the eyebrows. The chin strap should buckle snugly under the chin so that you cannot pull it off the chin, like this is too big. And we want to adjust the strap so you have one finger underneath 
but can't pull it off. Okay. Those with long hair should make sure that their hair is uh, done down below if you're wearing a ponytail uh, or a braid so that it doesn't uh, hurt your head while you're wearing the helmet. If you're a skier, uh, one of the things that the rental form asks you for is uh, to classify yourself with your downhill skier type. There's three choices. Uh, type one is for cautious skiers uh, who are either just starting out or skiing on gentle to moderate pitches. The release settings on your bindings will be set light so that they pop off easy in a fall. Uh, type three uh, is for skiers who are more advanced, they're skiing faster on moderate to steep slopes. Uh, this setting will set your bindings uh, tighter so they do not fall off uh, very often, and you, but you decrease the risk of inadvertent binding release. Uh, if you do not fit into either type 1 or type 3, then you would be a type 2, which is an average setting uh, best for most recreational skiers. Once you have all your gear and are ready to go, then you can take apart your skis, lay them out flat on the snow. If it's uh, been snowing uh, or the snow is soft like today, you're going to want to take your ski pole and bang the bottom of your boot. Then you're going to stick your toe in, line your heel up, and step down. Okay? If you don't have ski poles like I do, you can always take and rub your ski boot across the top of the binding here to get the snow off. Again, stick your toe in, line your heel up, and step down. To get out of your skis, you're going to push on the back of the binding right here. You can do it with your ski pole and pull your foot out, or you can reach down with your hand and do the same thing. So when you come out of the rental shop, uh, you're going to walk to the right uh, if you want to get to the beginner's slope called Pancake uh, or to the chairlift. After a day of skiing on the slopes, when you're ready to turn in your gear, uh, you're going to put your skis right here in the rack as far back as you can. You're going to head over to the equipment return and turn in your poles. Once you've turned in your poles and helmet, uh, tell the associate here what your last name is so they can pull your form off and then you can sit down and take off your boots please buckle them up just like you got them and return them up to the counter